It's not unfortunate, but the reality is that 3,000 buses cannot solve any problem for Nigerians. I mean, it is uh, quite ridiculous, but then we hope uh, uh, the right thing should be done. Here comes uh, Mr. Charles, who is here this morning. Good morning, Mr. Charles. Good morning, Mr. Chigo It's a pleasure having you here this morning. It's been raining all this uh, while. So, how are you doing today? Yes, your uh, president addressed us yesterday regarding his uh, intent and uh, how uh, he empathized with us. You know, it has been a, a constant uh, uh, the current uh, decimal that uh, the president uh, always feels the pains of Nigerians. Just as like of the previous uh, uh, dispensation, but nothing seems to have been have, uh, done of, of the past so to give some leads uh, on the faces of Nigerians. Now, he said he will give 3,000 cars or buses and uh, share uh, 500 billion. Now, if 200 million should share 500 billion, if it's just 250 naira, would that buy uh, uh, a gaga bread as it stands now? Well, I'm, I'm very, very much happy that the president has just come out. What is it? Say whatever to end his view on whatever the suffering of the masses. I get disappointed in Mr. President because you should have not waited, waited for the NLC to decide on what you want to do like backing on the protest. Now, it's that like you watch over someone have to go in and give you the advice that you should go out and talk to us and tell the whole nation that whatever, this is what you need to do. These are, these are things that you need to put in place. So I'm very, very much disappointed on whatever the president has said because he came very, he came very late. So I, the, what about the 3,000 buses you have said that you're going to bring out to you? You ask yourself, how many, how many people are, how many buses do you see at Kogba alone in one of the localities of Lagos State here? Yeah. But talking about, when well, we talk about Kogba, you talk about the place like the Kedja and Osho. This are crowded area that has a lot of uh, buses. And you're not talking about 3,000 for the whole federation. It's a huge disappointment on the side of uh, the president. It's a very, very disappointing by Mr. Ahmed Bolotin. I was expecting him to tell us that there are some certain establishment of companies that should be put in place. Most of the money, most of the money that was talking from the people of West Saturday should have channeled in terms of the operation of companies so that the average Nigerian who are on it, average graduates who are, who are just out of national universities of India, you said this can go into an then a little job just see that whatever the parents or the family have played on it, if they can go that the family will be very, very much happy that they have gotten someone to also the to suffer some more. The mother of the family. But I'm disappointed that Mr. President, whatever he has said, he sounds a, 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 a number of times to see whether he's going to come to pass. But I'm highly disappointed on him for him to have waited for Lebo. Lebo to have taken his trusting position and going on strike by tomorrow, being the second day of August. So I'm highly disappointed on him. You're happy. And the Lebo have said that it's psycho uh, and the debt cannot be changed or shifted. Well, we hope uh, they will not betray the confidence uh, posed on them by the people of Nigeria, who, of course, are passing through this excruciating uh, uh, moment in their life. Now, it is quite unfortunate. Yes, the sit at home, of course, uh, is the second day sit at home of the 14 days today. So, what can you say regarding uh, this uh, process? But I, I pray that it goes well. Whatever that is happening there, we are happy, we are not happy. Because whatever that is happening, we are happy, we are not happy. So, Martin, you have to be taking pressure. You see that you have to be value that you are going down the circuit. We are not happy, but the government, on the notion, and it's very light and the government knows what to do to alleviate the sufferings of the South by doing what? Releasing the so called Namdi Kano from the TSS custom. So I pray, and I pray that whatever sit at home, the South Eastern are doing, they are doing it peacefully, and they are not doing it just as it to Madrid, but to have some effect on anybody. So, the 
Why do you be very careful now? What about the thing? Just to tarnish the image. Huh? Not to. As in, not to go there and start having issues with the South Vietnam who are just doing the protest, sitting at home, peacefully without any money, feeling that they want to have an issue with anybody. So the federal government, I'm very, very much happy. And I pray that the sit at home order should be respected, even by the federal government, because these are political protests. You have a way of doing your thing, but this is part of the democratic setting. So the South East uh, sit at home, we are very, very much happy if it is being done peacefully without a federal government. Sharing with some security measures that are going to destroy the image of the world. Yes, of course, the federal government has deployed some armies, some military yeah. over there. We hope they will not violate the fundamental rights of the people of the history. But when it comes to economic uh, uh, evaluation of, of course, uh, as far as Nigeria is concerned, actually no part of Nigeria is safe economically. And uh, security-wise, of course, there have been several uh, um, security breaches across uh, the length and breadth of this country, yet the government, I thought the political uh, administration would have addressed that particular uh, national concern yesterday, but he fails to do that. But for reasons, of course, best known to him, well, but it's quite disappointing. We should have known how we intend to, of course, stop this uh, excess killing and the loss of the, of the citizens' lives. But uh, what do you think? Uh, is it that uh, his uh, approach or strategy uh, is not uh, uh, working out and they wouldn't want to let it out of the, the path? Well, the approach is not working. Uh, the approach is not working at all. When you, when you, uh, before, you come in, before you come into power, what is being expected of you is to engroup and engroup yourself with intellectual people that will be able to give you much needed advice, expected advice that will move your uh, government forward. But it's like, he has just decided to move on with people who are just there only to siphon public funds to their private account. So whatever he's doing as a time of moving the government forward, moving the nation forward, is not even in order, it's not even in consonant with whatever the coding aspiration of the masses. Because what was being expected of the so-called president, was immediately you became the president of this country, what do you do? So you bombard yourself with expatriates, people that will be able to give you a nice advice, people that will be able to tell you these are the loopholes, these are things that make the former government fail. Then they should be able to put you through so that at the end of the day, nobody will find you wanting. Remember, whatever you have done, on a very good day, people will still remember you either for good or for bad. So I am not a disappointment in this regime, but that whatever he's doing came very early just few days ago he just he was just barely two months at the office so look at it just two months at the office what happened at the end of the day people are just suffering from one place to another look at now when you turn your camera to over here there's no more buses the more masses are suffering so what are we saying we are talking we are saying in a situation whereby you do not decide to equip yourself to involve yourself with or to involve yourself with expert people that are people that Technical plan that knows what it takes to be in a particular place at the right time. People that are able to tell that these are things I needed to do to move down the government forward. But what do you do? Went in and brought in people simply because there was a support. These are people that supported you at the cost of you becoming the president of Nigeria. Maybe they are not even qualified enough from one person or another, but you decided to bring them in because you want to compensate them. But remember, by compensating those people, what are you doing? You are bringing down your government as low as anything. So it's very, very bad. I'm not happy. I'm disappointed on the movement of this regime. Yes, uh, uh, let me bring the attention of the masses of uh, the public to this uh, very important uh, findings. Uh, the Geneva administration said in the next six months, you'll be giving 48,000 to uh, four households. That is 80,000 for six months. 
is 48,000. This is not even sustainable. You see, he can't even buy a bag of rice, let alone other condiments that will start for a month. So, it starts an apparition or mark of uh, direction or vision for the country. Well, I, it's not an operation, but it's not for the country. Why? Because we should be talking about that, those money that you said you want to share to almost all your husband, 8,000 naira per month. But you ask yourself, how much is a cup of rice, a delivery of rice in Lagos State here? Some other places like Lekki are almost selling 1,000 soon. Here is almost 1,000 naira at all. Now, the billions upon billions of naira that you should have used in terms of being born, given to the poor masses that I know, you and I know that you will not even get a dime from that. Why not use that money and channel it down towards to companies, establish some companies, even if as little as this, as a local, establish companies, and by the virtue of establishing this company, what do you do? The unemployed youth in Nigeria, you could be able to give them hope, employ them. So by so doing, if you for instance, have unemployed youth in Nigeria, if they are hundred, and if I soak by the process and the process of creating such companies, what do you what are you trying to do? You're trying to reduce the level of unemployment in Nigeria. But in a situation whereby you are going to share those money to different households. You said two and a half billion households in Nigeria. But believe me, as long as they have been decided to share 100,000 100, households, 8,000 naira per month, they will stop. And the rest of the money to just go dry like that. They will tell you that the money has been used to share to the poor masses. But I am very, very much disappointed. They should have used this money to create and establish some companies. Then, by so doing, employ most of these people that are able, people that can work, can graduate from different fields, academic level, academic, well, academic uh, field, employ them, give them this job. At the end of the day, what happens? The salary you're going to pay them will also help them to educate at least the little children of their family. Instead of paying them the but the, the issue is that uh, we are here when the pandemic uh, set in and uh, they told us that they used billions of naira to feed uh, primary school students that are in the house. So could the government be trusted at all? That is the fundamental issue. They have uh, that uh, issue of uh, integrity. So can Nigeria really trust uh, such at this time? And uh, it's quite unfortunate that the money is not in to come back. Thank you very much. Uh, your final note to Nigeria. Uh, my final note to Nigeria, that let's keep on praying. Because it's only God. It's only God that will liberate this from and the suffering we are in now. Because once you decide to look onto these young people that are after their own private in passive uh, siphoning our public funds into their different private account. These are people that move in from one country to another in an expensive jet, different country, move down to Paris, London just for rest. Okay, we have our resident doctors, the consultants that are on strike. What happened? What is the hope of our medical doctors in Nigeria? There's no mm. more hope anymore. Now, I'm, I'm praying. My prayer and my advice to Nigeria is just go on, keep on praying. The only one that has a lasting solution is God. Because when you keep on looking on to these people, they're about to disappoint you because they are just human beings like you. I, one Reverend Father Rifle said that you see someone who is campaigning for to become, a, to become something alive as a political, uh, one of his political career. Yet at the end of the day, once he has achieved that post, he sat down at his office and keep on as if there's a pigeon. Lying the line at the watch, uh, at, at, the, uh, at the top of the room, telling him that he should be what, very, very wicked in terms of what the man is doing. So I'm very, very disappointed with this regime. Whatever that comes up with this regime is as earlier as possible. So we don't we never even expect a source because what we're expecting from this so called regime is that we should be very, very much happy for John White, being the wife of Ahmed Bolati, who rightfully said, that my husband is as rich as anything, but she's not coming in to eat. We are not coming in to eat Nigeria money. But what are we saying? It's like you're trying to eat our money by doing what? Most of the money you spend, buying 50 million naira, most of this government, uh, uh, 
politicians just to support you. It's that you are trying to ask you to recruit those money back. But the white people say that you are rich. You have anything it takes to do what you want to do. But what are we saying? We are seeing a situation whereby you are trying to siphon our public form. Directly or indirectly. So I'm disappointed with this regime. Their regime should have been something that they should have put in place in such a way that even you and average Nigeria will be very, very much happy as long as you have got yourself a rich fellow. So that money to me now comes in existence. So we are very, very disappointed with this regime. So my advice, keep on hope of God. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mike, uh, Mr. Charles. It's been a wonderful time being here with you. Yes, I think fans across the globe, wherever you might be watching us, uh, I believe you have heard, of course, uh, directly from the people. The umpire's reportage of events, uh, keeping it real, has been a commitment. Uh, Nigerians have expressed reactions and uh, dissatisfactions uh, over the purported uh, speech by the president, uh, saying, citing that uh, it does not foster any hope, of course, uh, uh, in the face of uh, the current realities, and the Nigerians uh, expected more from him than what they are seeing, and as such are disappointed with this latest development. Yes, of course, uh, you said that the poor want to breathe, but according to the, the people you call the poor, are accusing you of suffocating them, and not giving them any breathing space. And uh, it is quite unfortunate. Well, of course, uh, it, this is happening here in Broadway TV. Until we come your way some other time, stay safe and have a wonderful and fantastic day ahead. Bye for now.